Kili has come out today at about half past ten. And it's now eleven o'clock. The great Kenyan Isa Bikili. Morning. Good morning. Morning. Oh, we love them. Oh, hello. Slovenia coach for for Sandy Novak, blind runner. Blind runner? Yes, he's blind. Oh wow! He, ten years ago, has an accident at work. Huh? At, at work, yes. yeah. At work. And now he's ready to, for London marathon. Is the first he London marathon? No, yeah, the second one. Second marathon. Yeah, second. Second London marathon. Second London marathon. Yes. What is his personal best? Personal best is two hours thirty nine minutes. Two thirty nine. Thirty nine. Yeah. And fifty seven seconds. Wow. Yes. And this is his guide runner. This is guide runner. This is Slovenian best runner ever. Best. Yes, Slovenian record, marathon record. So this is two the. Two hour eleven minutes. This is the Kenyanisa Bikili of Slovenia. Yes, this is the Bikili of Slovenia. Bikini this is Kipchoge of Slovenia. Oh yes. <laughs> What's his name? Roman Kaja. Roman Kaja. Yeah. So you're not professional anymore, Roman? You're retired? He's a trainer. Full-time trainer? Yes. Still passionate about the sport? Yes. Yeah. What's his personal best? His personal best, 2 hours 11 minutes. And? And 50 seconds. Oh, yeah, it's good. Uh, today, Torino. In, in Torino, uh, 2000. Okay, and he's been to uh, 17 years ago. 17 years ago. <laughs> now he's uh, now he's too old. <laughs> no, never too old. <laughs> he's been to uh, three Olympics. He told me. Yeah. Yeah. He's been in uh, Athene, Peking, and Sydney. 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 Wow, yeah. that's amazing. What was his positions uh, in Sydney? Uh, in Sydney, Kirsby. It's not good. Uh, 54, 54 place. Yeah, that's in right. the middle of the run. Of yeah, he made it to Olympics. He's that is amazing. Too much uh, black. Guy. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> too much bikilis. Oh, <laughs> too many bikilis. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing. Did you see him run here this morning? Uh, Bikili? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I'm not. He was here when you were here. Uh -huh. He just finished about... When we are be here? Yeah, he, he was running on the grass. He finished about 20 minutes ago. Uh -huh, okay. By himself, nobody knows this uh, uh -huh, bikini. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh, okay. it's amazing. So I wish you good luck on mm -hmm. Sunday. Yeah. We'll be cheering for you. Yeah. And uh, uh, He ran in T11 group. T11 group. T11, T12. How much mileage Final. does he do a week? Please. Mileage, how, how much, how, much, how many miles? Kilometers. Every week? Uh, uh -huh. Every week 150 kilometers. Oh, wow. Between 100 and 150. In Slovenia, yeah? Yeah, in Slovenia. Uh, in the countryside, off-road, in town? No, on the personal track. A uh, personal track? Yes, uh, in... Uh, uh, what do you mean that... Uh, uh, 
in indoor track. Indoor track. Yes. That's where he does all his miles, 150 kilometers yeah, yeah, a week. Yeah, really. indoor because track. Because he's blind and he don't uh, doesn't train uh, in on the track alone. Always, right. Always need the guide runner. But Some, guide somewhere, runner, somewhere flat and smooth. Yes. Right. The guide okay. Guide runner don't have enough. Miss him. Don't have time. Uh, okay. Everything. So he runs by himself on the track? Yes. How does he see? He has a uh, uh, security belt. Yes. To a railing? Yes. A security belt on the railing. Track. Yes. Okay, so he can feel the tension and it'll guide him which way he's going. Uh, what? You know, like he can feel it's pulling him, uh -huh, not yes. if he's going too far or too yeah, close. They have a little. Uh, in that uh, track yes uh -huh. okay and then uh, pull left yeah. right so what happens if he's catching up with somebody and he needs to take over somebody what just, does he do uh, then the just help him that uh, you must go around around go around and uh, go uh, so the person uh, in front has to or stop some okay so the person in front has to move out of the way uh, or, or he can move around them. Yes. Oh, okay. That's very clever. I don't understand. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never mind. He. He's very good. Yeah. Very good. And you're you're a very good coach, very, though. Very you must good, be. Very uh, good. Very good. Uh, mind, mind mentality. Mentality. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If he don't have everything, this don't he don't live now. Oh. He. he I I think that die uh, in this accident. Oh. Yes. If he. And now it's here in London. This is he amazing. Ran, uh, he ran in the World Cup. Okay. World Championship. So he was almost dead. Huh? He nearly died. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. it's amazing. The sport uh, grow. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, what, the the, the sport, I mean. the sport gave him another life. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Did you see the another young life? Give him a sport and friends. Sport and friends. Yeah. yeah. Did you see the um, couple of days ago, 17-year-old uh, uh, race car driver had an accident, so they had to amputate both his legs as really? well. Yeah. And um, uh, uh, driving, it's a um, race car, race car driving. Race car. Yeah. Formula, no? Mm, just below, just uh -huh. below Formula. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, but he still wants to, you know, drive. And that's amazing, yeah. amazing heart and determination. Yeah. We have many excuses, we don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about yourself? Are you a former athlete? Huh? Are you a former athlete? Yourself, uh, you look like an athlete. You look like the yes, athlete. I'm, a, I'm an athlete. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a teacher. A, a what? I'm a teacher. A teacher. I'm a teacher. Were you? Physical education. Okay. What about before? Were you doing athletics? Uh, before I, uh, everything. Everything. Every, every sport. All right. I do, now I, uh, for myself, I'm running, walking, uh, climbing. Um, martial arts, oh, wow. swimming, okay. uh, martial arts, kung fu, yeah, 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 yeah. Chun. Yeah. You know <laughs> yeah, yes, I do. <laughs> we're gonna have a fight, me and you, after this. Huh? Really? <laughs> yeah, we can go. <laughs> Thanks a lot, okay. man. Thanks. Thank nice. you very much. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's amazing.
Joe Pavey and David Weir. David has won the London Marathon several times. Yeah, so I've just been doing uh, my PA level. Um, oh, okay. and it, it's sort of how they're, they're sort of saying about the uh, there are two main sort of ways of doing cargo loading. Right. Um, there's one where it's like you do three days of no carbohydrates whatsoever. Yeah. Well, I know people kind of used to do that a lot in the past, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. And then three of just pure carbo loading. Yeah. Like you can have other substances, but yeah. mainly carbohydrates. Yeah, that's um, what I'm doing now. Yeah, yeah that, that's much. supposed to like double. Like yeah. The because what I'm doing now is yeah. not having too much fruit and veg. Having yeah. a little bit, but normally I'd eat lots yeah. of fruit and veg as well as protein and carbs. Yeah. So it's now I'm like having a lot more carbs and not having too much stuff to upset your stomach. Yeah. yeah. So you're right. Definitely. But it's interesting to say that because I remember a few years ago. Everyone used to do that a lot of any carbs and then have loads. Yeah. They thought the body would be more receptive to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's supposed to like deplete all the stores. Yeah. And then like double back up again. Yeah. 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 It's quite interesting. Yeah. I mean, I've just gone with the sort of eating more carbs yeah. along with like reducing the training. Your body's already loading because you're not using it up as well. So, yeah, I think like the night before, you need a really decent meal, but you don't want to overdo it. You need to make sure you do it for a few days. Yeah. And I've had sports rings as well. So, yeah. yeah. Joe, what do you eat the day before a race? Um, I think mostly just pasta, a bit of chicken, a few veggies, you know, just, uh, but mostly like a load of pasta, and, um, a bit of chocolate as well. Like, well I find that quite digestible chocolate. You know, like it's, it's, when you eat it, it's quite good. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah, I like the, uh, the dried chocolate butter. I'm my food. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's yeah. big packets of dried chocolate butter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And then on the day of the race, I maybe just have a bit of porridge. But sometimes I have like a little bit of tuna as well to have a bit yeah, of porridge. Yeah, but at least you get it over and then it's with it. Separate. I don't know if it's like this. It just makes it yeah, more sustainable. And then yeah. I usually have like a sports bar within the last two hours. So I just have um, yeah. a bit of it. Yeah. 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 I get so nervous and my energy levels are getting yeah. Yeah. You know, I was going to say, the confidence is very high up there. Yeah, and I think, like, you know, I get Seriously. nervous just as much as when I was younger. You never really lose the nerve, but it's about channeling in the right yeah, direction. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's like if you can use your nerves, yeah. then it's amazing. And it's yeah. like controlling it, so it's not over nervous. Yeah, you shouldn't yeah. be worried about being nervous, like you say, just a little bit. Because I always think when you're nervous, you produce something in a race that you'd never be able to get in training. Yeah. You know, it's weird because sometimes I'm doing like K reps. And then I go and do 5k and I can do all of the yeah. join together quicker than I can do yeah. one on its own in training. And I think the nerves can be channeled in the right way. Yeah. It helps with that. I also yeah. think it's the atmosphere as well, especially yeah, in like the race. Because earlier. it's really like competition and everything. Yeah, yeah it just yeah. sounds good. Where test she last? No, she's 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 on a diet now. She's all her treats have been stopped. <laughs> she's got to lose. She's got to lose at least a kilo. Yeah. Yeah. She's lovely. Yeah, she's a good dog. She's a good natured dog. Oh, hello, friendly. Dotty. Yeah, <laughs> too friendly. <laughs> she just wants from everyone to throw <laughs> Come on, you. Dotty. Come on, Dotty. What do you think about the way they treating rhinos in South Africa, Dotty? What have you got to say about that? <laughs> hey, what do you say? Yeah, I yeah, I totally agree. I understand. Totally understand. Yeah. Come on then. Have a nice day, Doctor. Thank you. Come on, come on this way now. Isn't that just great? I put the tent out for them, and none of them use the tent. But that's all right. I don't mind, because I am 